Hello everyone, welcome back to VLSI Simplify and welcome to our brand new series Mastering Verilog. Before we jump into writing Verilog code, there is something really important that we need to cover and that is how to simulate and to test our designs. That's where model sim comes into the picture. So in this video, I'll walk you through how to install model sim, set it up properly and to create a simple project and run your first Verilog simulation step by step. So this video sets the stage for everything in our Verilog journey. So if you are just started out or want to ensure your setup is ready to go, then this guide is for you. Alright, this is VLSI simplified and let's get started and let's simplify. <laughs> All right, so before we jump into using model sim, let's quickly understand what it is and why it's such a big deal in digital design. So what is model sim? Model sim is a powerful simulation and debugging tool for HDL designs. That means for Verilog, VHDL and even System Verilog. It is developed by Mentor Graphics. Now it's a part of Siemens EDA and it is one of the most trusted tool used in both academia and industry to verify and debug digital circuit designs before actual implementation on hardware. Why do we use model sim in Verilog? Let's break it up. Simulate before you synthesize. So you can test your design behaviorally before taking it to synthesis. Visualize the outputs. Model sim allows you to see waveforms which is super helpful in understanding signal behavior. Test without hardware. You can test your logic, debug your code and fix bugs without needing a FPGA or ASIC setup. Supports both behavioral and gate level simulation which is great for beginners and for final pre-silicon checks. Industry trusted tool. It is widely used in real world projects and also supports system Verilog and methodologies like UVM making it future proof as you grow in this field. So model sim is not just a beginner's tool. It's something you will probably use throughout your VLSI career. Why model sim is important in your learning path. As we start writing Verilog code, one thing you will notice that is, we don't just write and forget it. We go through two key steps every time. One is compilation and another one is simulation. Compilation checks if your Verilog code is synthetically correct or not, like catching typos, undeclared signals, structural errors, and syntax errors. Simulation, on the other hand, it helps us to see how the design actually behaves over time. Whether signal toggles as expected, if modules are interacting properly and so on. That's where models in becomes essential in our learning path. See your code in action. So with models in, you simulate Verilog and visually understand how signals and modules behave using waveforms and console outputs. Learn by doing. It's not just theory. We will be compiling, simulating, and analyzing code in real time. It makes our learning truly hands on. Debug like a pro. Model Gym helps you to catch and fix bugs early, which helps to understand timing and get comfortable with the standard design flow used in industry. Reinforce every topic. From the very basics to advanced topics, every step will be backed by simulation. Helps us to solidify each concept. An essential step before hardware. So before deploying to FPGA or ASIC, you simulate everything in model sim. Think of it as your virtual playground to experiment, verify and grow. So in short, using model sim is going to make your Verilog learning journey more visual, more interactive and much more effective. Let's see how to install model sim on your Windows machine. So open Google, search 
model sim download there you can find a link from intel it is model sim intel fpg standard edition software click that link so the software type simulation tool software package will be model sim intel fpg standard so there you can find multiple versions we are going to install fpg standard version so the version you can select any version i am going to download the latest one scroll down the page there you can find a windows software so here you can find the download link click that button so it will be downloaded when you are trying to install for the first time you will get the agreement page there you need to click yes then the software will be downloaded automatically once the download is completed open your file manager click on that application file next then here you can find two editions one is starter edition where license is not required we are going to install the starter edition next then you will get the agreement scroll down sub the agreement next so this is the installation directory you can give it as a c folder only next next So the installation is completed. Click finish. Now the model sim was successfully installed in your Windows machine. So search for model sim. So click jump start. So here two options: create a project, open a project. So now we are going to start a new project. So create project. Project name as sample. So the project location I am going to select D colon. So create new file, add existing file, create a simulation, create new folder. So I am going to create a new file. File name is going to be ungate dot v. The file type should be very log. So okay. The file was successfully created. Here close. So double click it the edit tab will be opened here so i already have the program so i'm going to copy and paste so for save you can click this one or control plus s yes, directly you can give so the file is saved automatically when you click the control s it will be saved so next step is going to be compile step so compile here you can find multiple options compile all when you have multiple files you can give compile all it will compile all the files in your project so i'm going to click compile selected so here the status is question mark now it will become tick so here in the transcript you can file compile of ungate was successful so now i'm going to start simulation so in this one you can find one design file that is ungate so this is my design module and I also have a test bench module. So the test bench module will give the inputs to my design module. So the compilation was completed. I'm going to start simulation. So in the work, I have a my test bench file. So I'm going to double click it and OK. So these are my signals A, B. This will be input 1, input 2 and this will be output. So here I am going to add two waves. Select signals or signals in the design I am going to add. So I added all the signals in my design. So now I am going to run this one. So here you can find run timing. So run length you can select picoseconds or nanoseconds like that you can select. So here you can find multiple options for run. So this is run for this particular time period so this will be run all so i'm going to give run all so are you sure want to finish no i don't want to finish if you click yes the window will be the entire model sim will be closed so i'm going to give no 
so why it is asking that window is here i gave dollar finish it's asking to close the entire model chip no i want to see the waves so i gave no so the waves waves are ready so here i am zoom in so here you can see input 1 and 2 is 0 so output will be 0 0 0 is output will be 0 for and gate 0 1 0 1 0 also 0 and 1 1 will be the output point all right let's quickly recap what we accomplished today so we installed the model sim successfully set up our first verilog project we wrote a simple verilog code and we simulated it and viewed the waveforms now the model sim is all set you are ready to move forward from here on every concept we explore in verilog will come alive through practical simulations making your learning deeply hands on and effective so in the next video we'll explore what verilog is all about and why it's such a powerful language and how it fits into the world of digital design that is where the real journey of mastering verilog begins that's it for today if this video helped you give it a thumbs up and share it with your vlsi buddies we just scratched the surface we have a long way to go don't miss our upcoming videos so subscribe our channel and click the bell icon see you in the next video Bye.